Hold tight and welcome to today's Plumber Parts at Cody UK video. Sorry, it's been a little while since we uploaded, guys. Uh, we obviously had a little bit of a time away in Italy. All right, guys, welcome to this Plumber Parts at Cody UK video. And we're currently in the Mediterranean Sea. The girls are over there. The boys are here. I just want to show you, demonstrate to you, how easy it is for me to turn the heating on and off using my My Genie app on my phone, yeah, um, back at the Institute where we fitted that border a couple of weeks ago. At the moment, the heating is totally off. This is harsh, it's actually quite warm back in England at the moment. Um, but what we're going to do is, if you just have a look here, press that boost button. I hope you can see, guys, I really do. It's sending it, there we go, the heating's on. The heating back over there is on. Say so what, this is beautiful. Oh, there's a beer for us as well. Ah, anyway, guys, hold tight. Uh, that was lovely, birthday as well, getting older, hacking my way through the 30s at the moment. But there we go, so we're back now, all ready to go, getting ready for the heating season, even though at the moment, this is like the warmest September I think we've ever, ever had. 33 degrees at the moment. Anyway, before we continue, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our videos. It's really important by clicking on the link that's appearing in the cards right now. Those cards are visible throughout the whole video, so you don't have to worry about clicking on it now. Click on it at the end. We won't take you away from what you're watching now. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and remember to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. So then, it's been a mad couple of days in the world of plumber parts, and we've got loads of little giveaways coming up over the next few weeks. With any luck, we're going to be working with Lee Cooper, giving away some of their stuff. Well, we've got a competition today with Marksman as well, Marksman pens, who you may have seen on Dragon's Den, but we're going to go and talk to you about that later. We're also going to be giving away a few stickers and phone chargers as well, but we'll show you exactly how to do that all later on in the video. But first things up, as you know, and as you can see from behind us, uh, we're doing a registration scheme of Find Your Plumber. You might have also noticed as well that we've got a really big Twitter account now, 9,000 followers on there, plus the 5,000 we've got on Plumber Parts. So go over and follow us at FY Plumber Parts, okay? At FY Plumber Parts. Also, we're gonna to announce today our first winner. Plumbers who are fully registered with Find Your Plumber get entered into our monthly Amazon voucher competition, and we'll be telling you which one of you lucky plumbers who've registered has won that today. There's a wasp flying around, and I hate wasps. Mm. Have a look at this video that Josh Tappin sent us through as well. He got sent out to this loo. So got a call saying that the toilet is a bit loose. Nice, Josh. Uh, have you got a photo of the new one you've installed? And what did you do with the old one? Did you sort of dig it into the ground outside, fill it up with some soil, and then put some flowers in it? By the way, everyone, round of applause for Josh, because he got married to the sweetheart of his life. He met her on Tinder. <laughs> he met her on Tinder with his chat up line. <laughs> Oh, sorry Josh. <laughs> We're also going to be doing a weekly and monthly competition with Graham Plumbers Merchants as well. It's going to be called Wild West Wednesday. They've made me do some things for the stings, which are like the little bits that go through to the segment on that, that I'm not happy about doing because I'm afraid of horses. I mean, they've got big old hooves, big old teeth, they're thick. All they can do is run and kick and bite. That's all horses are good for. Unless, of course, you're French. <laughs> Actually, one more thing I want to mention to you. We're going to be doing a plumbing disasters calendar. So let us know if you're interested in that. We're going to be selling that through our shop. We're currently building an online shop for t-shirts as well. If you've got any... T Wasp, just get away! If you've got any good t-shirt ideas, send them through to us. And if we go through to manufacturing it, we'll send you your one out for free. So I can't do any better than that, really, can I? Anyway, if you haven't done already and you want to get a chance to win one of these Amazon vouchers and also get loads of discounts and deals with the manufacturers we've worked out, click on the link that's appearing right now in cards. You don't have to click on it yet. It's available throughout the whole video as usual. So let's get on and have a look at some of your photos and videos. All right, remember, guys. To hold it tight. Oh yeah, and also we're doing another competition as well with Evolution Tools, like the one we did a couple of weeks ago, the TJD Plumbing Services one, well done mate. Oh yeah, and also we're gonna be doing some dates with the Graham Plumbers Merchant Tour. You probably realise they're going all over the country at the moment in their customer first tour. We're gonna be on some of them dates as well. Also, if you look in the YouTube description below, there'll be a link to the Graham Plumbers Merchant dates on our website, so you can find out when they are, go along, meet Richie and all the guys from Install the Show as well. You might be able to meet us if it's one of the shows that we're on, get some photos, we'll have a laugh, have a beer, you never know. It could be the best day of your week. <laughs> anyway, right, I'll speak to you soon. And remember, enjoy these photos and videos and hold tight. So then the sun's out, the gun's out, let's go and do some photos and videos. <laughs> it's obvious that in the plumbing world and the plumbing trades at the moment, the cowls and rain caps and that are so expensive. 
That's why Grassroots 79 sent us through this photo of someone who's just decided to foam their soil pipe up. No smell's gonna get out of there, is it? Meh. Kieran sent us through this photo of a cylinder. I actually don't know what the hell's going on here, but there's a 240 volt charger out there. Is that actually powering it or something? Whatever it is, it's absolutely terrifying. As is this photo that Aaron McCoy sent through of someone's been putting loads of four inch through the floor joists and just using what looks like a chainsaw to cut them through. Doesn't really matter what you've cut them with. Look how much you've actually cut out. That floor is gonna fold down, y'all. Jez Lucas sent us through this photo, and loads of you as well did. Obviously, you've all been going to Harry Potter land because, you know, you're adults and that's what you do. But you sent us through this thing here of the stove that's been fitted in there. Is that flu compliant, guys? Hmm, I'll let you boys decide. And then Adam Waring popped in as well with another flu. I mean, someone's tried and they've failed here. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> I always say that. I don't know what they were thinking, but they've done it anyway. I hope you sorted that out, Ads. And then this next picture came in. Darren Reeves sent it to us, but we got sent it by quite a few plumbers as well, and there was a little bit of chit-chat about it on Twitter. Guys, I'm looking to find out where we can get these figurines from, because they would be brilliant prizes. Now, this may have happened on a Friday, and it's not a flexi Friday. Dan Reeves sent this one through to us as well. What it looks like is sometimes you run out of 15 mil compressions and olives, and all you've got is a little bit of solder in there, so this is what you do instead. Solder that beast in there, y'all. When I did that pub's taps a couple of months ago, I soldered all their bib taps in as well, because you know what drunks are like. We've all been there and nicked a load of bib taps off someone, haven't we? Haven't we? Chopper Reed sent us through a few photos as well. One is of this lovely hashtag Flexi Friday, hashtag for the bad boy crew, going into a shower or hashtag a shonky shower. So many hashtags going around these days. And then he sent us this one as well, hashtag rude rat for the bad boy crew, hashtag, 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 ha! radiator as well. Seriously, what is going on here is, I mean, I see this sort of thing and I think, hmm, that is mental. Not the best quality photo ever, but Ali Dieter sent us through this one of a load of soil stack that's all just been sort of mashed in together. Looks absolutely dreadful, don't know what's going on there. If it was slightly better quality, maybe I'll be able to see, but you can tell, even through the haze shade of awful pixels, that it is a dreadful installation. Josh Tapping got called out to a lady. She's got no electricity, and the new shower's just been installed by some old boy. He takes the front cover off the shower and finds this. That's why you got no electricity, love, all right? Cheers, Josh. Good old IRB heating. By the way, we contacted them directly to make sure that we could use this photo, but it is hilarious. Watch yourselves, MagnaClean. This magnet is coming out to get y'all. <laughs> Great photo there, IRB. Send you out a sticker if you want one, boys. Give us a shout. Hagen RZF sent us through this photo of a hashtag rude hat, hashtag big G, hashtag scrubs on the big fat belly. <laughs> George, don't struggle. Don't struggle. We're doing a video. Don't get grumpy. Yeah? Anyway, it's one of them horrible, oh, I hate these radiators because the dip tubes always get blocked up down along the bottom and they just never work. So thanks for sending us that one through, mate. I do like the way they've used like a bit of pen or something like that, a stick or something to make sure that the TRV pin's stuck in so it doesn't keep running. Great work, remove that, sort out the pipe work, do a little bit of 10 mil underneath or convert it to 15 mil and put two proper valves in at each end. Do you like George's new collar? It's got a new collar on, haven't you, G? Yeah. Oh, look at that belly. All right, okay. Oh, he's so moody. He's never like this. Only when we get the camera. And he's not run away. He loves me. Hey, George, come back. George. Oh, it's too hot for him, isn't it? <laughs> Chopper Reed sent us through a video of why you should never let Tyler's first fix or install shower valve. Have a look at this. So yeah, Adam Barrett's working around the local vicarage and obviously, we, as we all know, vicars love, and even if you do love God and all that sort of stuff, it doesn't mean you don't love a bit of sexy time, as this guy proves here. Look what he found under the floorboards. Adam, what did you do with them? Did you put them in your personal little collection in the central reservation of the van? Or, as most people would normally do, get the photo you like the most and super glue it to the back of the sun visor in the van so you can look at it while you're driving down the motorway. Adam Connor found this automatic air vent on this radiator. Don't really know what it's doing. I mean, let's face it, automatic air vents on radiators are ludicrous anyway. They look dreadful. But when you pipe it in down there, what's the point? Anyway, Ben Jammin, or Benjamin, or whatever you want to call him, found this tool back valve. No, 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 no. Ball valves, please, all the way. Hope you check it out, Ben. See, most plumbers love a good power flush, especially sort of start of the week as a great way to ease yourself into what's gonna be a dreadful, tragic week of stuff not turning up in time from the suppliers and all the rest of it. Well, Josh thought that was just gonna be that sort of job on a Monday, nice little power flush. He turns up and finds the carpets of this color. Josh, if you took a photo of after the work and there's brown, horrible black stains everywhere, stuff like that, then send it in, mate, okay? <laughs> You're never gonna do that, are you? Aaron Beckingham, feels so sorry for you, man. You got to the top of the stairs 
and then this happened to your toolbox. How lucky, mate. Chris McDermott turned up to a job to be told that the scaffolders had finished off and it was safe to work there. Chris, we haven't heard from you in a little while, mate. Are you okay? Now, EcoWise Construction sent us through this photo of a two pence cap that they made themselves. Guys, I haven't done it myself yet, but let's go online and find out how much it costs to actually buy a three quarter cap to go in there. I bet it's more. Nick Beard, and thanks ever so much, Nick, for all the photos you send through. You send through so many, and it's brilliant. Um, send us a message on Facebook, and we'll have a little chat about how we can reward you for what you've done. Thanks ever so much. Anyway, have a look at Nick's video that you sent through here of this beautiful shonky shower installation. Jay Taylor sent us through this photo of a hashtag rude rad, hashtag for the Baba crew. What is that doing there? What is that a little isolation valve doing in the middle of them two? Fluid Plumbing Solutions as well sent us through a lovely photo of a hashtag shonky shower. So we've got some lovely JG Speed Fit, which as we all know, looks absolutely lovely on installations like this. So yeah, Darren Reeves sent us through this photo here of a toilet, right? With a flexible multi-quick on the back of it. What is going on? There's another multi-quick going through the wall as well. It gets worse. Darren, please tell me you fixed that, okay? Send us through a photo of the fix and we'll retweet it and send it out on our usual channels. Thank you. And of course, bang it out on Facebook as well because we love banging out on Facebook. Darren Clark went to a boiler where the condensed pipe from the previous installer, he'd obviously just run out of condensed on the van. He was about an inch short and look how he left it. I mean, I suppose you said, yeah, that's law that is. You've got to have a ton dish like that there. And the customer was like, oh, all right, okay. Dan, I hope you sorted that one out, bruv. Alan Goldsmith sent us through this photo of a lot of HEP pipe in the floor. Now, I'm not against first fixing HEP pipe in the floor, but do clip it, please. Make it look nice. Don't just leave it like this. Benjamin sent us through a lovely photo of this beautiful hashtag Flexi Friday, hashtag for the bad boy crew. Oh yeah, look at that. They go up. I mean, really, the rest of the install is quite nice. What I really love about this photo is that Ben's little face, as he concentrates whilst taking this photo, has been captured in the reflection of the underside of that basin. Ben, you're beautiful. Weird! David Bone sent us through a photo, and a few of you sent this through, actually, I think, of a waste that's gone through a PVC door. Let's hope this is just temporary. They're going to rip the door out, and this is just on a big sort of job, like an extension or something. My wife had to deal with the sink actually being on two trestles and then hanging on a load of flexi hep so we could move it around as I was tacking out the ceiling and stuff like that. She loved it. But you're not going to hear any more from David Bone because he's found out a way of preserving himself inside a council bin. Clear jam. I don't know if I've said your name right, but clear jam. Spelled C L E E R E. Clear jam. Sent us through this video that we're going to have a look at a few times because it's so quick and yet so brutal. Check it out. To be honest, that was my body after the lamb bolty I had a couple of weeks ago. Ronnie Dog got sent out to one of those jobs. <laughs> he got sent out to one of them little jobby wobs, right? It's a really easy job. It's just an indirect coil vented cylinder, nice and light. You can even take the other one down the scrapyard, but then you get there and find out that they fitted the cylinder beforehand and then built the cupboard around it. So you ended up like this. It's one of them ones where you don't know whether to get your hacksaw out and just cut off a little bit of the foam down each side, isn't it? Which is a bit naughty. Either that or you've got to take the whole door apart, take the frame off and everything. Suddenly what became a six hour job just become a day and a half job. Gas Care Limited sent us through this hashtag Flexi Friday, hashtag for the bad boy crew. <laughs> Uh, photo. Really, I mean, lovely install. I mean, the actual bathroom looks great. Nice tiling job, nice and neat and everything. Who did that at the end there? A double flexi. And then Blair Angus sent us through another double flexi. And then Dean Williamson sent us through another flexi. You know what? Last week I was on a job, I was on site, and they said, James, can you stop acting like a flamingo, please? I had to put my foot down. No? Don, Tom Dom Thompson, nice little system change. We've all been there, mate, unlucky. Alex Rice got called out to this. Beautiful little bit of floorboard work here. I bet the chippy screwed that down and just heard that noise. Thought, hold on, I better give Alex a ring. Lovely wiggly waste here from Sam Shepard. Wiggles, do you ever get called to customers' houses where you turn up and you think, oh, I just don't want to be here? I don't know for a start if I'm going to get paid or not. And also, if I touch anything, am I going to die of some random disease or contract worms or something? Well, look at the place Sean Davies got sent to here. Stop eating your dinner, all right? Push it to one side, because I guarantee you after 10 minutes, you're still not going to want to eat the rest of it.
Oh, have you ever walked around the house? You know when you're walking along and you just catch your foot, you catch a little toe on something, a little bit like this? Well, Anthony Hall just sent us through this photo. Anthony, this must have happened a few times already, mate. Catching that little toe when you get something, it is like the worst pain ever. Oh yeah, guys, remember to follow us on Snapchat as well. I'm just gonna go to Snapchat now and just snap this. Yeah, yeah we're, we're filming, filming right, right now, now, so follow us on Snapchat. DA Gas and Heating sent us through this photo of a hashtag Rude Rad. Um, obviously, whoever fitted this radiator before them didn't have any straight TRVs. And let's face it, if you'd had angled TRVs, you could have still got away with making the pipe look a little bit better than what they did here. Chris Green, one of those lovely pipes that you see sometimes when you're out and about where the plaster is just sort of plastered half of it in. That's going to be the one that leaks, isn't it? You just know it every time, and you'll be up there with your little SDS Kanga or whatever, just taking a little bit out so you can get your grips around that nut and tighten it up. They fed Rob Benz. <laughs> sorry, I cannot do a Welsh accent, I'm sorry. But I got sent this through by you first, and a few others of you sent it through as well. It's of the back of a van, right? And it is Gas Heating Zone. That's the name of the company, Gas Heating Zone. Guys, if you're on Twitter, then, you know, I'd love to send you a sticker out or something like that, because obviously, inadvertently, you didn't know. And if you did know, it makes it even better. And as a viewer, you guys who are viewing this video right now, if you still don't know what we're on about, you're not old enough to know. Go and ask your mum and dad. Really good mates of ours, PB Plumber on Twitter. If you do get a chance, definitely follow PB Plumber. He's an absolute lovely old boy. And anyway, he sent us through a little video of this flu that he found. Enjoy. Alex Michael, gone to a customer who probably watched a plumber parts video and decided that you should fix everything with PTFE. <laughs> I mean, Conway got sent out to a job, right? This is one of those ones where whoever was doing the bathroom didn't speak to the plumber. Because usually what you do, before you tiled that floor, I imagine it's wood underneath, or even if it's concrete, you say, I'm getting a radiator in, it's gonna be roughly 600 mil wide, so can you bring your pipes up 600 mil width centre, please? And then we can tile. Now, this is a marathon of hashtag Flexi Fridays, okay? Ben Taylor sent this through. I think this is from Australia as well. So you don't have to worry about anything freezing out there, I don't think. But look how many there are. Let's just see. We've got one, two, three. Three, and if that had been UK Flexis, just like bath ones, probably would have got about 10 in there. Then Paul Pius sent us through something that would terrify me. If I was washing my hair and then, you know, I was doing the old thing, you know you get scared about getting stabbed by some old dude out of Psycho. But what if you were washing your hair and looked up and opened your eyes and this is what the shower head was made out of? Yes, I think that would be pretty scary, don't you think? You think you've seen one horrible property? Well, look at the one that Kevin McCursey got sent to, if that's how you say your name. This is so dangerous. Jacob Thompson gave us this beast here. Uh, it does make you realise that, I mean, once you've done the job, <laughs> I just don't know what happened here. I can't explain it. No normal gas engineer or any fitter whatsoever, any installer, would ever finish off their boiler flue like this by using a whole tub of fixer foam. Jason Rugg, thanks ever so much for this photo, mate. You sent us this one through. Some lovely flexi on a shonky shower pump as well. Uh, really nice to see you, mate. I hope you're doing all right, Jace. Haven't heard from you in a while, mate. Uh, do stay in contact, you know, if there's anything wrong. If you need scrubs, then just let us know. Also, sometimes it's nice just to lighten up the disasters a bit by showing you what good work looks like. Chris McDermott sent us through this photo of some lovely pipe work that he's in the middle of doing at the moment. Ronnie Gotchling, all the way from Berlin, sent us through this great photo of a little gas boiler install. At the top, it looks fine. Scroll down, look at the bottom. Oh, dear. John Paul White, that tap install, it's shot. Harrow and Sun Plumbing. We all love a bit of chrome pipe work, especially if you've got nice chrome compression fittings as well. And they turned up at a job to find that someone thought exactly the same as them, but they didn't know anything about how to design pipe work. Look at that. Dyfed Roberts, they fed, they fed Rabad, sent us through fantastic footage, aerial footage from his drone camera of some underfloor heating that he's fitting. This is so cool. Have a look at this.
Cord, you're looking at the sun's moved round. You wouldn't believe it was still bloody summer, really. I mean, middle of September now, 33 degrees down here at the moment if you're near London. What I want to do is our first monthly Amazon prize draw for a plumber who's going to win an Amazon voucher. The only way you can enter this is to be a plumber who is fully registered and paid up to find your plumber. Along with all the other perks you get, I'm not going to do the sales spiel. Just click on the link that's appearing now. You can click on that anytime throughout this video to have a look and get signed up if you want to. But anyway, this month's winner with a big draw drum roll, is Robinson Heating. Robinson Heating, thanks ever so much. Great profile there, mate. You've really done well. We've filled out your qualifications. You've done a nice little bio. You've got some great photos there, mate. I hope soon you'll be winning some work through that. But if not, in the meantime, you're still saving money on all the great deals. And look, you've just won an Amazon voucher as well, mate. Now you can go on Amazon now, mate, and spend a tenner on your missus. Yeah, right. So then guys, let's have a nice little goosey gander at the Marksman pen. Number one, um, I'm really impressed with these. You probably saw them out on Dragon's Den. Deborah Meaden absolutely love these. Uh, I don't think so, any of the other dragons really understood 100% what the guy was on about. But I can tell you now that this is such a handy tool. It's incredible. Uh, when it comes to drawing lines and things like that, then you're not going to find it all that useful. This is much more handy when it comes to marking up radiator brackets and stuff like that. What we'll do in a set, we'll just take it through next door to where we've got our false wall set up and everything, and you can see how good these are. So then, number one, the great thing about them is how easy it is for you to actually mark and properly do a hole. You can just go like that, 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 like that. The good thing is, is that you can wipe them off as well. I mean, if it's on plasterboard like this, it doesn't matter. But if it's on a painted thing or on some metal like that, you can make your mark and that'll easily wipe off never to come back. The great thing about them is as well, they've got kind of nicks out the front here, which means there's a nice little leg. So when you press it on a wall or anything like that, it sprays the chalk out a little bit and leaves a nice little X marks the spot for you. So all in all, really impressed with the marksman. I love it. I think it's a really good idea. I think they're gonna go far. If they can do one that starts doing lines, so you can just draw it down a line or something like that, and it starts firing out the chalk as you go along, then that'd be even better. It'd be so, so cool. There's one other thing we haven't actually looked at here, but it's the actual ability for the marksman to fire out from a distance like so. It's if you've got a small or thick piece of wood like so, or something like that, where you can't get your pencil through to the surface, you can use this little piece just to fire your little mark down there like that. I mean, look at that. How good is that? Let's pop back outside and see how you can win one. We've got a great competition this week when you can win one of these marksmen as well. We've got two to give away. I'm going to keep one for myself, shove that in the toolbox because they're that good. Alongside one marksman pen, we've also got a nice little phone charger to give away as well. So it's handy when you're out in the van or whatever and you're running out of phone charge. This will recharge your phone straight away from the top. We got this from the lovely guys at Lingini. Uh, and also uh, you'll get a plumber part sticker in the post as well. All you need to do is head over to either our Twitter page or our Facebook page. You'll find this post at the top of the page retweet or share that and that's it you've entered the competition so good luck guys you can enter that competition anytime you like pop over there at the end of this video and do it then jacob Anyway, good luck with the competition that we've got out for you this week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video we've done today. Uh, we have got a lot of videos coming up. We've got a video coming up with Salamander Pumps. We're going to be doing some stuff with Jobman Workwear, and they're also going to be offering some discounts, hopefully on the back end of the website for the plumbers that register with us, uh, along with Lee Cooper as well, who we're in talks with. Anyway, until the next video, where I think we'll be first fixing a shower room and stuff like that, first fixing radiators, please do subscribe to our videos by clicking on the links appearing right now. Follow us over on Facebook and Twitter and of course if you are a plumber click on that link register with us at find your plumber you could win an Amazon voucher we've got monthly draw there as you now know keep on sending your photos and videos in guys without you a lot out there we would be nothing as you all well know but anyway thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video remember everyone it's all time plumberparts.co.uk home of find your plumber Jez Lucas and a few other Jez Lucas and a few other of you Jez Lucas and a few others out there. Jez Lucas and a few other. Yeah. So anyway, Adam Barrett was working around at the local vicarage. And as we all know, most vicars are insanely frisky. Or at least this one was, because look what he found on the Vicar loves to tickle her. Swiggles and wiggles. Ronnie Gotchling, all the way from Berlin in Zreich. Follow him. Look, you just stay there, you scumbag. Why well, get annoyed with inanimate objects? <laughs> You, you stay there. <laughs>
That's what I do in the middle of the road. Let it go all over my trousers. It's all lovely. <laughs>